now uh, like when we start working in the software okay when we saving the files uh, in the software so there is something uh, input files uh, we can take uh, we can use like that is called uh, keyword formats basically okay like uh, with uh, data when you make saving also file the file will be saved in the form of dot k okay so that is extension uh, basically we can say it's a key or we can say dyna file like example like a file name uh, when we giving any name of the file also uh, initially like even given a name here car then i have add some symbol here okay instead of uh, giving a space instead of giving a space i added a uh, like underscore okay so we whenever we used to save the files in that ls dyna we write like this okay if we're not writing like this what will happen why we are not doing this so there's a issue like when solver calculate the problem now so solver will not run or not give the solution to you so in that cases we have to write in this case okay so like in ls dyna we having three different volumes are there okay so if you want to like uh, study something uh, what particular option or particular not option i'm saying particular uh, uh, like uh, material about uh, like some equations okay so that kind of things were available in the manuals of ls dyna i'll show you that manuals also and from where you get this manuals we can uh, see that as well so we can go to that manuals and if we need any help we want to read something we can use that manuals uh, while doing uh, simulations okay we can check the requirements before doing analysis we can collect that uh, necessary data and we can start uh, doing analysis okay so there's some uh, different different key formats are there by default some key formats are already will be available uh, okay so a short overview of the basic structures such as input files for a basic uh, one element finite element model is given like this element basically okay we have a one cube element so in finite model uh, model in ls dyna built up of uh, different keywords okay uh, so you will understand when we start working in the software you will understand what the keywords are there okay so everything that we have to define maximum things okay maximum things we are defining uh, through the keywords only okay so which is defined for uh, in going definition and parameter in the models example part and modes so you know already uh, we have uh, discussion about the element part like so like uh, this what we having if i talk about this all will be a nodes and this if i talk about a body if a single body that will be a part okay so the following description of a, uh, a description map of the text space may be uh, understood okay so here this is what one uh, consisting one element with the eight nodes okay as shown in figure so like when you open a part there will be option will be called uh, nodes elements and the part so it will show you that what part is there and how many number of nodes are there and how many elements are there uh, when we opening any file by default so that kind of things will be automatically uh, shown in uh, software some of the things uh, before uh, beginning uh, we should know okay like when we start working okay when we opening like uh, part okay when we uh, part keyword contain data that points uh, to the other attribute of this part okay like example material property okay uh, keywords for other attributes in a turn view okay so what it means basically like whenever like if i design a part okay so i when i design a part what i required i required pid pid stand part id then i required section id okay then i required a mid stand for material id okay uh so section id material id that is required that is what like when first what we have to do in the software we always uh, we will make material okay and then after we will define that material like i created material one so my material id will be one here if i having multiple parts are there and multiple materials i am using so the same way like the id will be increased two three four take how many material you are using right up to you the same way section stand for like uh, the element type we are defining on the body like it is a solid element body or it's a shell element part okay so that is section id stand for like if you having solid part we taking section solid if you are having a cell part and we having a lot of list are there so particular requirements we having we can use that particular uh, sections or particular materials are there okay, hundred of materials are available in uh, uh, ls dyna that can be used PID stand for part ID, SEC ID stand for section ID, MID stand for material ID. You can NID stand for node ID. 
so then uh, boundary condition and time dependent loads are also uh, set by keywords are usually applied on nodes elements and segments or parts so whenever we making a boundary conditions okay so either we are applying that is on nodes or either we are give, uh, defining by elements or by a segment segments that particular area we consider as a one segment or parts means if i having uh, multiple objects are there okay so we can uh, we can that we can take as a one by one part or we can also make a uh, combination of part set uh, that's called part set basically so we can make a part set as well to define the boundary conditions so set definitions are often used to define groups of these entities like uh, and nodes and all that i'm talking since all loads are time dependent uh, curve needs to be defined the state uh, load units like uh, force pressure etc versus time okay so once uh, time uh, once example of defining boundary condition uh, load uh, on the cube are visually we'll see that one example also that how we can uh, apply that loading conditions and all with the, with some example like uh, when we defining the boundary conditions uh, that like i taken here a sp set okay so in this set means we uh, we are making node set or we are making load sets okay so when we like defining some loads Okay, the so loads can be defined uh, by making load curves also, or some places we no need to define a load curve. Then we are making not load curve. So this L L L C I D is written there. Okay, S I D stand for what? Uh, like uh, again, section I D, N I D as I told you, that is a node I D, and this is written N S I D. Okay, N S I D stand for that's a like a node set I D we having. Okay, node set I D, L C I D stand for load curve I D. Okay, so basically, whenever we are defining loads uh, in the form of curve, okay, so then we require like here we given some equation means uh, that uh, uh, the values of uh, our curve. If we are taking like suppose example displacement time and curve, okay, so the one side is displacement and one side is time value. So zero and zero like initially my time and both is at zero. Then a uh, displacement suppose it is one and the time is at ten. So like this, we are defining uh, the values. OK, so this is how my curve will be get ready. So then we are applying this uh, load onto any body. We'll use a by curve uh, by defining that ID. This this ID we have created this load curve we have created. So there we need to define that load uh, curve ID. 